Ciao dear friends. Ciao humans. Half humans. Three quarter humans. Five percent humans. And even one percent humans. Because we all, well, are humans, yet in a different stage of awakening. Father told me that there is absolutely a possibility for us to become fully blown humans, meaning 100%, 100% of the spirit, 100% of the physical wellness. So I bow to all of you who are actually choosing this kind of path. Rather than the what we see now all over the news, all over the media, all over the financial, banking, economic, political theater. It's absolutely I mean, beautiful to watch for, for us who don't take it too seriously that other people have some difficulties now. Many, many have a major difficulties, not even accepting what is still coming. So title, when one's greed becomes too expensive or your soul becomes so cheap. Well, soul is an integral part of our existence as a humans. So once when we decide to live as a humans, we start our search for the soul or for the particles that we once lost, has been stolen, has been, you know, deceived out of our, let's say, whole existence. So, in the short, our whole intent being here is to become whole again. Whole in the spiritual form and whole in a energetic form, form and the whole as a, as a human who actually recognizes a reasons and purpose why we are here. So I'll turn a little bit on a political scheme because it's quite <laughs> genuinely funny. It's ridiculous funny how things are developing in the States with the uh, Epstein's murder and uh, cameras disappearing. Uh, footage is disappearing, uh, details uh, on his neck, is it crushed, is it choked, is it like broken or whatever reasons they come up with. We still just have like a sliver of the truth. Not even actually, it's just up to you to make a choice what really happened with the Epstein, but it's more important why it's developing this way, why it's not uh, everything in the open. Well, I'll tell you what I feel. It's because simply we huh, we have to be tricked into the truth. We as the humans, we as observers, who are blindly following MSN or whatever, the mainstream media, until recently. Q showed up show us really a beautiful way of depicting stuff, decoding, decoding what another person of interest is actually telling you by sometimes telling you garbage, sometimes not telling you anything. Yesterday we had a quite a, well, almost identical uh, situation with South African CEO. CEO of Bosasa suddenly run into the only unprotected pillar with rented, I guess, Toyota Corolla and his uh, automatic uh, Mercedes-Benz is left in the, whatever, Pretoria company headquarters. So he end up supposed to uh, go to the court and testify against the tax evasions, against the, uh, his involvement with the bribes of 
from half a million to a couple of hundreds of million for different uh, political parties and mostly like we end up in uh, ANC pockets. ANC is the now ruling so-called party of South Africa. Similar as at maybe three years ago was uh, the Democrats, Obama and uh, the rest of the deep state. Now we started learning who are actually deep staters here in South Africa. This guy ran into the pillar and totally, you know, cut the uh, car in the half. Suddenly, nothing can be disclosed. On a big, it's called the Zondo Commission about uh, tax evasions or tax affairs that were happening. This happening for the last couple of years, but now become very prominent because. Uh, Magashule, Ace Magashule, and the actual president of South Africa are absolutely implicated in every aspect of this, huh, let's say, business political relationship. And there's no way they can bring a racism in this or some kind of, uh, because this guy is called uh, Gavin Watson, the CEO of Bosasa. Uh, corporation end up dead and it was white like white snow white well not as beautiful as snow white but it was you know absolutely unacceptable for for bringing any kind of racism into his uh, not even the uh, BEE could prevent him to become you know, multi-billionaire as, as he was at the time of uh, his so-called debt. So don't get too, too cocky, United States, because we have our own Clinton's clan or Clinton Terminators. We call them Ace Magashules and we call them Siri Ram Ramaphosa. The Magashule is presently uh, some kind of uh, title like Secretary of State and Ram Ramaphosa is the president who really bringing so much shit here and trying to bring our attention to uh, uh, land expropriation they even try to bring the law about it but it's absolutely collapsing over his head well, not only he said, but all the other cronies of deep state of South Africa and Netherlands and Belgium and Britain and Germany because all they have their own tentacles in here. I think eventually we will all learn what does it mean. You know, if you don't have a... a mines or uh, wine win uh, winyards in uh, South Africa then you're not part of the deep state let's say the global elite well now this global elite gets really huh, wiped off this planet one after another recently last year I talked quite a bit about the uh, Steinhoff one of the biggest well, it was the biggest company in South Africa. I think it was like a second biggest after the uh, well, media company that was again owned partially with uh, this Christoph Visa's Visa family and some other Eustace. And so these guys are, you know, running for their life. They're canceling their big products or projects. One of the funny ones was they bought the most prestigious uh, piece of land from a Belgian embassy right here in the Hermanus where Denise and I live so this was two years ago start drilling uh, making like a huge uh, like a guest house private house whatever with the boat docking and everything like which is absolutely ridiculous uh, how to get any permissions on the, the whale uh, coast where it's totally protected by so-called South African laws not to disturb the nature 
yet they've dug a hole like of with the underground bunkers and so on or whatever they were planning but this has been halted there is no more money now the banks are actually sitting with a huge debt just on this little property plus all the other uh, toxic derivatives that has been uh, shifted left and right as Steinhoff uh, get uh, hmm, drowned to nothing from over, I think it was over nine, sorry, 109 billion ran in 2016. Now it's about worth maybe five, sorry, less than a billion in rands, which is really nothing comparing with uh, what assets they have and uh, what other, let's like say, businesses subdivisions included in this enormous business that totally collapsed and nobody really talks about this mostly people pay attention to land expropriation then the blacks uh, start burning some trucks and this is like of the crucial so-called crucial importance for our everyday living yet nobody wanna see the good news or some of us, we see it, so are you going to hear me or not? I think you will because father told me that the implants, these so-called listening implants, preventing to hear, to hear the truth, will have been removed on a global scale from every... to produce this loose energy of upsets, of fear, of anxiety, of commotion, of jealousy, of greed. So when you have somebody like this Gavin Watson, does it matter how much he was worth at this moment? I don't think so. Even useless to mention because if he shows up alive or he, he shows up, let's say, with recorded messages, what has been done, and he's just faking his death, which, you know, I would suggest as, as a good, good way to, uh, hmm, let's say, remove attention from this Bosasa uh, state capture commission processing that's absolutely discovering more and more. So they, they were thinking, if this goes like off the screen, nobody will pay attention. But people cannot be stopped anymore because people are start listening. People are start questioning. They don't care. This fake uh, racism card or uh, you know, apartheid and so on. They are bringing and pushing this out as a 
almost like misdemeanor that you pay attention on how the thief was, what was his clothing, what was his uh, uh, behavior, but not what this thief actually stole. And when I tell you, when this realization hits you that your, st your soul has been stolen, sliced, you know, nice little chunks, sliced, and then stolen. Another side, another trauma comes in, another lie comes in, has been sliced and sliced and sliced. But now I think it's a time for you to maybe stop <laughs> allowing these slicing mechanism to upset you. I mean, nothing clever I can tell you except that you are your own healer. You are your own savior. You are your own freaking, you know, decision maker. Because these control units of aliens are wiped out. They are no more. They don't have a tools anymore. They don't have a technology anymore. Reason why? Because Prime Creator and Time Traveling Soldiers wiped this clean. So it's it's almost like it's everything is dumped into your very at the time not too confident hands because you don't think you can do it. You don't think that this is uh, in your capability that you can restore your health, that you can restore your wealth, that you can be open and say to the abuser, that's enough. Well, I have some funny things here, but it's really not, not as a funny subject to, to talk about, that Epstein to me is, is just like a drop in the bucket of what was happening in United States. But United States, deep state has to be uh, almost like uncovered first or like a little pebble in the peaceful pond. And it will make waves all the way to the Antarctica and back. Because when the waves hits the edge of the world, it goes back. And it multiplies and it goes back again. So we are really in the most challenging and most exciting time because you don't have to do much. Pay attention how you feel. Pay attention, well, what you eat. Pay attention that you don't smoke. Pay attention that you don't eat meat. Pay attention about how you deal with traumas. Do you freak out or you just maybe see them as an opportunity to tell these freaks what you really think about them? And most of these freaks, I'm calling doctors, judges, politicians, besides Trump and his team, or there are some in South Africa, but they are very still almost hidden. But they will come very much uh, in the front when you, as a aware human, start realizing that you can actually collect all of your sliced pieces back to your physical body and you become whole again. So be Let's give them a helicopter ride, okay? Right? Good? Ha, 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 ha.